Oslo or, Rara, Eusli or, Iwalu is the capital of Norway and most populous city in Norway. Oslo constitutes a county and a municipality. Founded around 1000 AD, and established a Korpstad, or trading place in 1048 by King Harald III, the city was elevated to a bishopric in 1070 and a capital under Håkon V around 1300. Personal unions with Denmark from 1397 to 1523 and again from 1536 to 1814 and with Sweden from 1814 to 1905 reduced its influence. After being destroyed by a fire in 1624, the city was moved closer to Akershus Castle during the reign of King Christian IV and renamed Christiania in his honor. It was established as a municipality on January 1, 1838. Following a spelling reform, it was known as Christiania from 1877 to 1925, when its original Norwegian name was restored. Oslo is the economic and governmental center of Norway. The city is also a hub of Norwegian trade, banking, industry and shipping. It is an important center for maritime industries and maritime trade in Europe. The city is home to many companies within the maritime sector, some of which are among the world's largest shipping companies, ship brokers and maritime insurance brokers. Oslo is a pilot city of the Council of Europe and the European Commission Intercultural Cities Programme. Oslo is considered a global city and ranked beta world city in studies performed by the Globalization and World Cities Study Group and Network in 2008. It was ranked number one in terms of quality of life among European large cities in the European Cities of the Future 2012 report by FD Magazine. A survey conducted by ECA International in 2011 placed Oslo as the second most expensive city in the world for living expenses after Tokyo. In 2013 Oslo tied with the Australian city of Melbourne as the fourth most expensive city in the world, according to the Economist Intelligence Unit's worldwide cost of living study. As of January 2014 the city of Oslo has a population of 634,000. The metropolitan area of Oslo has a population of 1,502,604, of whom 951,581 live in the contiguous conurbation. The population currently increases at record rates, making it the fastest growing major city in Europe. This growth stems for the most part from immigration and high birth rates among immigrants, but also from international migration. The immigrant population in the city is growing somewhat faster than the Norwegian population, and in the city proper this is now more than 25% of the total. Urban region, as of January 2014, the population of the municipality of Oslo is in excess of 634,000. The urban area extends beyond the boundaries of the municipality into the surrounding county of Akershus, its agglomeration total of 951,581 inhabitants. The metropolitan area of Oslo, also referred to as the Greater Oslo Region, has a land area of 8,900 km2 with a population of 1,502,602 as of April 1, 2014. The Inner Oslo Field Region, or the Capital Region, made up of the five counties of Oslo, Akershus, Buskerud, Vestfold and Stfold, has a population of 1,980,116 people. The city centre is situated at the end of the Oslood, from which point the city sprawls out in three distinct corridors a Euro inland northeastwards, and southwards along both sides of the order Euro, which gives the urbanized area a shape reminiscent of an upside down reclining Y. To the north and east, wide forested hills rise above the city, giving the location the shape of a giant amphitheater. The urban municipality of Oslo and county of Oslo are two parts of the same entity making Oslo the only city in Norway where two administrative levels are integrated. Of Oslo's total area, 115 km2 is built up and 7 km2 is agricultural. The open areas within the built-up zone amount to 22 km2. The city of Oslo was established as a municipality on January 3, 1838. It was separated from the county of Akershus to become a county of its own in 1842. The rural municipality of Acre was merged with Oslo on January 1, 1948. Furthermore, Oslo shares several important functions with Akershus County. 
general information, toponymy. The origin of the name Oslo has been the subject of much debate. It is certainly derived from Old Norse and Wasa Euro and all probability Euro originally the name of a large farm at Jarvika, but the meaning of that name is disputed. Modern linguists generally interpret the original as slow or as slow as either meadow at the foot of a hill, or meadow consecrated to the gods, with both considered equally likely. Erroneously, it was once assumed that Oslo meant the mouth of the low river, a supposed previous name for the river Alna. However, not only has no evidence been found of a river low predating the work where Peter Crosser N. Free first proposed this etymology, but the very name is ungrammatical in Norwegian, the correct form would have been Lower Rose. The name Low is now believed to be a back formation arrived at by Free in support of his spurious etymology for Oslo. City Seal Oslo is one of very few cities in Norway, besides Bergen and Tarn Sberg, that does not have a formal coat of arms, but which uses a city seal instead. The seal of Oslo shows the city's patron saint, Saint Halvard, with his attributes, the millstone and arrows, with a naked woman at his feet. He is seated on a throne with lion decorations, which at the time was also commonly used by the Norwegian kings. History According to the Norse sagas, Oslo was founded around 1049 by King Harald Hardra Yenda. Recent archaeological research however has uncovered Christian burials which can be dated to prior to AD 1000, evidence of a preceding urban settlement. This called for the celebration of Oslo's millennium in 2000. It has been regarded as the capital city since the reign of King Håkon V, the first king to reside permanently in the city. He also started the construction of the Akershus Castle. A century later, Norway was the weaker part in a personal union with Denmark, and Oslo's role was reduced to that of provincial administrative centre, with the monarchs residing in Copenhagen. The fact that the University of Oslo was founded as late as 1811 had an adverse effect on the development of the nation. Oslo was destroyed several times by fire, and after the 14th calamity, in 1624, King Christian IV of Denmark and Norway ordered it rebuilt at a new site across the bay, near Akershus Castle and given the name Christiania. Long before this, Christiania had started to establish its stature as a centre of commerce and culture in Norway. The part of the city built starting in 1624 is now often called Kvadraturen because of its orthogonal layout. The last plague outbreak in Oslo occurred in 1654. In 1814 Christiania once more became a real capital when the union with Denmark was dissolved. Many landmarks were built in the 19th century, including the Royal Palace. Storting it, the University, National Theatre and the Stock Exchange. Among the world-famous artists who lived here during this period were Henrik Ibsen and Nutt Hamsun. In 1850, Christiania also overtook Bergen and became the most populous city in the country. In 1877 the city was renamed Christiania. The original name of Oslo was restored in 1925. 1000 to Euro 1600. Under the reign of King Olaf Kiri, Oslo became a cultural centre for Eastern Norway. St. Halvard became the city's patron saint and is depicted on the city's seal. In 1174, Hovedaya Abbey was built. The churches and abbeys became major owners of large tracts of land which proved important for the city's economic development, especially before the Black Death. During the Middle Ages, Oslo reached its heights in the reign of King Håkon V. He started the building of Akershus Castle and was also the first king to reside permanently in the city, which helped to make Oslo the capital of Norway. In the end of the 12th century, Hanseatic traders from Rostock moved into the city and gained major influence in the city. The Black Death came to Norway in 1349 and, like other cities in Europe, the city suffered greatly. The church's earnings from their land also dropped so much that the Hanseatic traders dominated the city's foreign trade in the 15th century. 1600s, over the years, fire destroyed major parts of the city many times, as many of the city's buildings were built entirely of wood. After the last fire in 1624, which lasted for three days, King Christian IV decided that the old city should not be rebuilt again. His men built a network of roads in Akershagen near Akershus Castle. 
he demanded that all citizens should move their shops and workplaces to the newly built city of Christiania. The transformation of the city went slowly for the first hundred years. Outside the city, near Vorterland and Graen Land near Old Town, Oslo, a new, unmanaged part of the city grew up with citizens of low status. 1700s, in the 18th century, after the Great Northern War, the city's economy boomed with shipbuilding and trade. The strong economy transformed Christiania into a trading port. 1800s, in the 19th century, several state institutions were established and the city's role as a capital intensified. Christiania expanded its industry from 1840, most importantly around Acre Selva. The expansion prompted the authorities to construct several important buildings, most of which remain as tourist attractions. There was a brief building boom from 1880, with many new houses, but the boom collapsed in 1889. 1900 The Euro present, the municipality developed new areas such as Oliva Yenel Hajbai and Torshov. City Hall was constructed in the former slum area of Vika, from 1931 a Euro 1950. The municipality of Acre was incorporated into Oslo in 1948, and suburbs were developed, such as Lambertsita. Acre Brig was constructed on the site of the former shipyard Acres Mechanisk Verkstad, from 1982 a Euro 1998. In the 2011 Norway terror attacks, Oslo was hit by a bomb blast that ripped through the government quarter, damaging several buildings including the building that houses the office of the Prime Minister. Eight people were killed in the bomb attack. Geography Oslo occupies an arc of land at the northernmost end of the Oslowood. The fjord, which is nearly bisected by the Nesodden Peninsula opposite Oslo, lies to the south. In all other directions Oslo is surrounded by green hills and mountains. There are 40 islands within the city limits, the largest being Malmöja, and scores more around the Oslowood. Oslo has 343 lakes, the largest being Maradorsvanit. This is also a main source of drinking water for large parts of Oslo. Although eastern Norway has a number of rivers, none of these flow into the ocean at Oslo. Instead Oslo has two smaller rivers, Akerselva, and Alna. The waterfalls in Akerselva gave power to the first modern industry of Norway in the 1840, and later in the century, the river became the symbol of the stable and consistent economic and social divide of the city into an east end and a west end. The laborers' neighborhoods lie on both sides of the river, and the divide in reality follows Uland Street a bit further west. River Alma flows through Grorodelen, Oslo's major suburb and industrial area. The highest point is Kirkebegit, at 629 meters. Although the city's population is small compared to most European capitals, it occupies an unusually large land area, of which two-thirds are protected areas of forests, hills and lakes. Its boundaries encompass many parks and open areas, giving it an airy and green appearance. Climate Oslo officially has a humid continental climate however due to the effects of global warming its climate is evolving into a warm summer Mediterranean climate with hot dry summers interrupted with occasional thunderstorms and mild winters. Because of the city's northern latitude, daylight varies greatly, from more than 18 hours in midsummer, when it never gets completely dark at night, to around 6 hours in midwinter. Despite its high latitude and northerly location, the climate is not severely cold due to the onshore air masses in winter and the coastal location of the city. Oslo has mild to warm summers with average high temperatures of around 19 Euro 24 AA degrees Celsius and lows of around 12 AA degrees Celsius. The highest temperature ever recorded was 35 AA degrees Celsius on July 21, 1901. Winters are cold and snowy with temperatures between a 7 AA degree Celsius up to a 1 AA degree Celsius. The coldest temperature recorded is a 27.1 AA degree Celsius in January 1942. Temperatures have tended to be higher in recent years. Annual precipitation is 763 mm with moderate rainfall throughout the year. Snowfall can occur from October to May but snow accumulation occurs mainly from January through March. Almost every winter, 
ice develops in the innermost parts of the Oslaud, and during some winters the whole inner field freezes. As it is far from the mild Atlantic water of the west coast, this large field can freeze over completely, although this has become rare. Oslo receives around 1,650 hours of sunshine annually, which is about average for the northern half of Europe. Parks and Recreation Areas Oslo has a large number of parks and green areas within the city core, as well as outside it. Fronna Park is a large park located a few minutes walk away from the city center. This is the biggest and most reputed park in Norway with a large collection of sculptures of Gustav Vigeland. Bygdawa is a large green area, commonly called the Museum Peninsula of Oslo. The area is surrounded by the sea and is one of the most expensive districts in Norway. St. Hanshagen Park is an old public park on a high hill in central Oslo. St. Hanshagen is also the name of the surrounding neighborhood as well as the larger administrative district that includes major parts of central Oslo. Tayen Park stretches out behind the Munch Museum, and is a vast, grassy expanse. In the north, there is a viewing point known as Olanar. The Tayen area also includes the botanical garden and museum belonging to the University of Oslo. Oslo is built in a horseshoe shape on the shores of the Oslo and limited in most directions by hills and forests. As a result, any point within the city is relatively close to the forest. There are two major forests bordering the city, Estmarka, and the very large Nordmarka. The municipality operates eight public swimming pools. Tajenbadet is the largest indoor swimming facility in Oslo and one of the few pools in Norway offering a 50-meter main pool. The outdoor pool Frognerbadet also has the 50-meter range. Cityscape Oslo's cityscape is being redeveloped as a modern city with various access points, an extensive metro system with a new financial district and a cultural city. In 2008, an exhibition was held in London presenting the award-winning Oslo Opera House, the Urban Regeneration Scheme of Oslo's Seafront, Munch Stenison and the new Deutschmann Library. Most of the buildings in the city and in neighboring communities are low in height with only the plaza, Pasjara Bigot and the high-rises at Jarvika considerably taller. Architecture Oslo's architecture is very diverse. The architect Carl Frederick Stanley who was educated in Copenhagen, spent some years in Norway around the turn of the 19th century. He did minor works for wealthy patrons in and around Oslo, but his major achievement was the renovation of the Oslo Cathedral School, completed in 1800. He added a classical portico to the front of an older structure, and a semicircular auditorium that was sequestered by Parliament in 1814 as a temporary place to assemble, now preserved at Norsk Folke Museum as a national monument. When Christiania was made capital of Norway in 1814, there were practically no buildings suitable for the many new government institutions. An ambitious building program was initiated, but realized very slowly because of economic constraints. The first major undertaking was the Royal Palace, designed by Hans Lindstow and built between 1824 and 1848. Linstow also planned Carl Johan's Gate, the avenue connecting the palace and the city, with a monumental square halfway to be surrounded by buildings for university, the parliament and other institutions. Only the university buildings were realized according to this plan. Christian Heinrich Grosch, one of the first architects educated completely within Norway, designed the original building for the Oslo Stock Exchange, the local branch of the Bank of Norway, Christiania Theatre, and the first campus for the University of Oslo. For the university buildings, he sought the assistance of the renowned German architect Karl Friedrich Schinkel. German architectural influence persisted in Norway, and many wooden buildings followed the principles of neoclassicism. In Oslo, the German architect Alexis de Chateauneuf designed Schvoldegetskirchen, the first neo-Gothic church, completed by von Hanau in 1858. A number of landmark buildings, particularly in Oslo, were built in the functionalist style, the first being Scorns and Restaurant by Lars Bakker, demolished in 1970. Bakker also designed the restaurant at Ekberg, which opened in 1929. Kunstner's Huss Art Gallery by Gudolf Blackstad and Hermann Munkar still shows the influence of the preceding classicist trend of the 1920s. 
the redevelopment of Oslo Airport at Gardaman, which opened in 1998, was Norway's largest construction project to date. Politics and Government Oslo is the capital of Norway, and as such is the seat of Norway's national government. Most government offices, including that of the Prime Minister, are gathered at Reykjavik a cluster of buildings close to the national parliament Euro the Storting. Constituting both a municipality and a county of Norway, the city of Oslo is represented in the Storting by 17 members of parliament. Six MPs are from the Labour Party. The Conservative Party and the Progress Party have three each. The Socialist Left Party and the Liberals have two each. And one is from the Christian Democrats. The combined municipality and county of Oslo has had a parliamentary system of government since 1986. The supreme authority of the city is the City Council, which currently has 59 seats. Representatives are popularly elected every four years. The City Council has five standing committees, each having its own areas of responsibility. The largest parties in the City Council after the 2011 elections are the Conservatives and the Labour Party, with 22 and 20 representatives respectively. The Mayor of Oslo is the head of the City Council and the highest ranking representative of the city. This used to be the most powerful political position in Oslo, but following the implementation of parliamentarism, the mayor has had more of a ceremonial role, similar to that of the president of the Storting at the national level. The current mayor of Oslo is Fabian Stang. Since the local elections of 2003, the city government has been a coalition of the Conservative Party and the Progress Party. Based mostly on support from the Christian Democrats and the Liberals, the coalition maintains a workable majority in the city council. After the 2007 local elections on September 10, the Conservative coalition remained in majority. After the elections in 2011 the Conservative Party remained in power after a strong election. The Progress Party chose to leave the city government after losing support in the election and a dispute over the new Munch Museum. The Liberals and the Christian Democrats replaced the Progress Party in the city government. The governing mayor of Oslo is the head of the city government. The post was created with the implementation of parliamentarism in Oslo and is similar to the role of the Prime Minister at the national level. The current governing mayor is Stienberger Rasland. Economy Oslo has a varied and strong economy and was ranked number one among European large cities in economic potential in the FD magazine report European Cities of the Future 2012. It was ranked second in the category of business friendliness, behind Amsterdam. Oslo is an important centre of maritime knowledge in Europe and is home to approximately 1980 companies and 8,500 employees within the maritime sector, some of which are the world's largest shipping companies, ship brokers, and insurance brokers. Detnosk Veritas, headquartered at Harvik outside Oslo, is one of the three major maritime classification societies in the world, with 16.5% of the world fleet to class in its register. The city's port is the largest general cargo port in the country and its leading passenger gateway. Close to 6,000 ships dock at the port of Oslo annually with a total of 6 million tons of cargo and over 5 million passengers. The gross domestic product of Oslo totaled 268.047 Norwegian kroner a billion in 2003, which amounted to 17% of the national GDP. This compares with 165.915 Norwegian kroner a billion in 1995. The metropolitan area, Barmos and Ramen, contributed 25% of the national GDP in 2003 and was also responsible for more than one quarter of tax revenues. In comparison, total tax revenues from the oil and gas industry on the Norwegian continental shelf amounted to about 16%. Oslo is one of the most expensive cities in the world. As of 2006, it is ranked 10th according to the Worldwide Cost of Living Survey provided by Mercer Human Resource Consulting and 1st according to the Economist Intelligence Unit. The reason for this discrepancy is that the EIU omits certain factors from its final index calculation, most notably housing. Although Oslo does have the most expensive housing markets in Norway. It is comparably cheaper than other cities on the list in that regard. Meanwhile, 
prices on goods and services remain some of the highest of any city. Oslo hosts 2654 of the largest companies in Norway. Within the ranking of Europe's largest cities ordered by their number of companies Oslo is in fifth position. The whole group of oil and gas companies is situated in Oslo. According to a report compiled by Swiss bank UBS in the month of August 2006, Oslo and London were the world's most expensive cities. Environment Oslo is a compact city. It is easy to move around by public transportation and you can access rentable city bikes all over the city centre. In 2003, Oslo received the European Sustainable City Award and in 2007 Reader's Digest ranked Oslo as number two on the list of the world's greenest, most livable cities. See also Transportation, Education. Institutions of Higher Education, University of Oslo, a Euro undergraduate, graduate and PhD programs in most fields. Oslo and Akershus University College of Applied Sciences, former Oslo University College. Focuses on three Euro four-year professional degree programs. BI Norwegian Business Shirola Euro Primarily Economics and Business Administration. Norwegian School of Information Technology, Oslo School of Architecture and Design, Norwegian School of Sport Sciences, a Euro offers opportunities to study at the bachelor, master's and doctoral level, Norwegian Academy of Music, MF Norwegian School of Theology, Oslo National Academy of the Arts, Norwegian University of Life Sciences located in AS, right outside of Oslo, Norwegian Army Academy, the Norwegian Defence University College, the Norwegian Police University College, Norwegian School of Veterinary Science, Oslo Academy of Fine Arts, Oslo School of Management located at the Campus Christiania Education Center. The level of education and productivity in the workforce is high in Norway. Nearly half of those with education at tertiary level in Norway live in the Oslo region, placing it among Europe's top three regions in relation to education. In 2008, the total workforce in the Greater Oslo region numbered 1,020,000 people. The Greater Oslo region has several higher educational institutions and is home to more than 73,000 students. The University of Oslo is the largest institution for higher education in Norway with 27,400 students and 7,028 employees in total. Culture Oslo has a large and varied number of cultural attractions, which include several buildings containing artwork from Edvard Munch and various other international artists but also several Norwegian artists. Several world-famous writers have either lived or been born in Oslo. Examples are Nut Ham's son and Henrik Ibsen. The government has recently invested large amounts of money in cultural installations, facilities, buildings and festivals in the city of Oslo. Big Y, outside the city centre is the centre for history and the Norwegian Vikings history. The area contains a large number of parks and seasites and many museums. Examples are the Fram Museum, Vikingskipuset and the Kuntki Museum. Oslo hosts the annual Oslo Freedom Forum, a conference described by The Economist as a Euro UE on its way to becoming a human rights equivalent of the Davos Economic Forum A Euro Oslo is also known for giving out the Nobel Peace Prize every year. Museums, Galleries Oslo houses several major museums and galleries. The Munch Museum contains The Scream and other works by Edvard Munch, who donated all his work to the city after his death. The city council is currently planning a new Munch Museum which is most likely to be built in Jarvika, in the southeast of the city. The museum will be named Munch Stenison. Fifty different museums are located around the city. Fokima seat is located on the Big Dawai Peninsula and is dedicated to folk art, folk dress, Sami culture and the Viking culture. The outdoor museum contains 155 authentic old buildings from all parts of Norway, including a stave church. The Vigeland Museum located in the large Runner Park, is free to access and contains over 212 sculptures by Gustav Vigeland including an obelisk and the Wheel of Life. Another popular sculpture is Sinatagan, a baby boy stamping his foot in fury. This statue is very well known as an icon in the city. There is also a newer landscaped sculpture park, Ekberg Park and Sculpture Park, 
with works by Norwegian and international artists such as Salvador Dali. The Viking Ship Museum features three Viking ships found at Osberg, Gogstad and Thun and several other unique items from the Viking Age. The Oslo City Museum holds a permanent exhibition about the people in Oslo and the history of the city. The Kuntki Museum houses Thorhadals Kuntiki and Ratu. The National Museum holds and preserves, exhibits and promotes public knowledge about Norway's most extensive collection of art. The museum shows permanent exhibitions of works from its own collections but also temporary exhibitions that incorporate work loaned from elsewhere. The National Museum's exhibition avenues are the National Gallery, the Museum of Contemporary Art, the National Museum, the Museum of Decorative Arts and the National Museum of Architecture. A new National Museum in Oslo will be built in the next 10 years and the building will be located at Vespain behind the Nobel Peace Center. The Nobel Peace Center is an independent organization opened on June 11, 2005 by the King Harald V as part of the celebrations to mark Norway's centenary as an independent country. The building houses a permanent exhibition, expanding every year when a new Nobel Peace Prize winner is announced, containing information of every winner in history. The building is mainly used as a communication center. Music and events A large number of festivals are held in Oslo such as Oslo Jazz Festival, a six-day jazz festival which has been held annually in August for the past 25 years. Oslo's biggest rock festival is a Jæfstavæl or simply a year. It draws about 60,000 people to the medieval park east in Oslo and lasts for four days. The Oslo International Church Music Festival has been held annually since 2000. The Oslo World Music Festival showcases people who are stars in their own country but strangers in Norway. The Oslo Chamber Music Festival is held in August every year and world-class chambers and soloists gather in Oslo to perform at this festival. The Norwegian Wood Rock Festival is held every year in June in Oslo. The Nobel Peace Prize Ceremony is headed by the Institute. The award ceremony is held annually in the City Hall on December 10. Even though Sami land is far away from the capital, the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History marks the Sami National Day with a series of activities and entertainment. The World Cup Biathlon in Holmkolen is held every year and here male and female competitors compete against each other in sprint, pursuit and mass start disciplines. Other examples of annual events in Oslo are Desukon, a convention focusing on Japanese culture and Faraday Sea Lizen the world's largest overnight regatta with more than 1,100 boats taking part every year. Richard Nordrauk, composer of the Norwegian national anthem, was born in Oslo in 1842. Norway's principal orchestra is the Oslo Philharmonic, based at the Oslo Concert Hall since 1977. Although it was founded in 1919, the Oslo Philharmonic can trace its roots to the founding of the Christiania Musica Verening by Edvard Grieg and Johann Svensson in 1879. Oslo has hosted the Eurovision Song Contest twice. Performing Arts Oslo houses over 20 theatres, such as the Norwegian Theatre and the National Theatre located at Carl Johan Street. The National Theatre is the largest theatre in Norway and is situated between the Royal Palace and the Parliament Building, storting it. The names of Ludwig Holberg, Henrik Ibsen and Jrnstjernebjrnson are engraved on the four section aid of the building over the main entrance. This theatre represents the actors and playwriters of the country but the songwriters, singers and dancers are represented in the form of a newly opened Oslo Opera House, situated in Bjrvika. The opera was opened in 2008 and is a national landmark, designed by the Norwegian architectural firm. Snauheta. There are two houses, together containing over 2,000 seats. The building cost 500 million euro to build and took five years to build and is known for being the first opera house in the world to let people walk on the roof of the building. The foyer and the roof are also used for concerts as well as the three stages. Literature. Most great Norwegian authors have lived in Oslo for some period in their life. For instance, Nobel Prize winning author Sigrid Unset grew up in Oslo, and described her life there in the autobiographical novel Eliva Yenar. The playwright Henrik Ibsen is probably the most famous Norwegian author. Ibsen wrote plays such as Hedda Gabler, Pia Gint, 
A Doll's House and The Lady from the Sea. The Ibsen Quotes project completed in 2008 is a work of art consisting of 69 Ibsen quotations in stainless steel lettering which have been set into the granite sidewalks of the city's central streets. In recent years, novelists like Lars Sorby Christensen, Tove Nilsson and Roy Jacobson have described the city and its people in their novels. Early 20th century literature from Oslo include poets Rudolf Nilsson and Andra Copyright Jerk. Media, the newspapers Often Possen, Dagbladet, Verdens Gang, Dagens Narings Live, Finance of Isen, Dags of Isen, Magenbladet, Vyenrt Land, Nationen and Klaskampen are published in Oslo. The main office of the national broadcasting company NRK is located at Marienlist in Oslo, near Majorstuen, and NRK also has regional services via both radio and television. TNORJ is also located in Oslo, while TV2 and TV3 operate branch offices in central Oslo. There is also a variety of speciality publications and smaller media companies. A number of magazines are produced in Oslo. The two dominant companies are Allo Media and Gemit Mortensen AB. Sports Home Kola National Arena and Home Kabakan is the country's main biathlon and Nordic skiing venue. It hosts annual World Cup tournaments, including the Home Kola Ski Festival. It has hosted biathlon world championships in 1986, 1990, 1999 and 2002. FIS Nordic World Ski Championships have been hosted in 1930, 1966, 1982 and 2011, as well as the 1952 Winter Olympics. Oliva Yenel Stadion is the home arena for the Tippeligaen football side Vajen Leringa Football, the Norwegian national football team and the Football Cup Final. The stadium has previously hosted the finals of the UEFA Women's Championship in 1987 and 1997 and the 2002 UEFA European Under-19 Football Championship. Raal IL is Oslo's only team in the Women's League, top 3N. Each year, the International Youth Football Tournament Norway Cup is held on Ekberg's Letter and other places in the city. Bilet Stadion is the city's main track and field venue, and hosts the annual Bilet Games, part of IAAF Diamond League. Jerk Trave Bain is the main venue for harness racing in the country. Oslo Spectrum is used for large ice hockey and handball matches. Barclay Jets SK and Nordstrand IF plays in the women's post and Ligain in handball, while Vajen Leringa Hyen NDBALL plays in the men's league. Jordan Amphi, the home of the ice hockey team Vajen Leringa Isoki, and Mangaruthalen is the home of Mangarud Star, both of whom play in GET Ligain. The 1999 IIHF World Championship in ice hockey were held in Oslo, as have three bandy world championships, in 1961, 1977 and 1985. The UCI Road World Championships in bicycle road racing were hosted 1993. Oslo is currently bidding to host the 2022 Winter Olympics. Crime Oslo Police District is Norway's largest police district with over 2,300 employees. Over 1,700 of those are police officers, nearly 140 police lawyers and 500 civilian employees. Oslo Police District has five police stations located around the city. The National Criminal Investigation Service is located in Oslo, which is a Norwegian special police division under the NMJ PPST is also located in the Oslo district. PST is a security agency which was established in 1936 and is one of the non-secret agencies in Norway. Oslo police stated that the capital is one of Europe's safest, but statistics have showed that crime in Oslo is on the rise, and some media have reported that there are four times as many thefts and robberies in Oslo than in New York City for example. According to the Oslo police, they receive more than 15,000 reports of petty thefts annually. Approximately 0.8% of those cases get solved. On July 22, 2011, Oslo was the site of one of two terrorist attacks, the bombing of Oslo government offices. Transport Oslo has Norway's most extensive public transport system, managed by Rutter. This includes the six-line Oslo Metro the world's most extensive metro per resident, the six-line Oslo tramway and the eight-line Oslo commuter rail. 
the tramway operates within the areas close to the city centre, while the metro, which runs underground through the city centre, operates to suburbs further away. This includes two lines that operate to Bar Rum, and the ring line which loops to areas north of the centre. Oslo is also covered by a bus network consisting of 32 city lines as well as regional buses to the neighbouring county of Akershus. Oslo Central Station acts as the central hub, and offers rail services to most major cities in southern Norway as well as Stockholm and Gothenburg in Sweden. The airport express train operates along the high-speed Gardaman line. The Drammen line runs under the city centre and the Oslo tunnel. Some of the city islands and the neighbouring municipality of Nesodden are connected by ferry. Daily Crew is a ferry services operate to Copenhagen and Frederikshavn in Denmark, and to Kiel in Germany. Many of the motorways pass through the downtown and other parts of the city in tunnels. The construction of the roads is partially supported through a toll ring. The major motorways through Oslo are European Route E6 and E18. There are three beltways the innermost which are streets and the outermost, Ring 3 which is a beltway. The main airport serving the city is Gardaman Airport, located in Olenzaka, 47 km from the city centre of Oslo. It acts as the main international gateway to Norway, and is the sixth largest domestic airport in Europe. Gardaman is a hub for Scandinavian Airlines, Norwegian Air Shuttle and wider OE. Oslo is also served by two secondary airports, which serve some low-cost carriers, such as Ryanair, Rig Airport and Torp Airport, the latter being 110 km from the city. Airports in the Oslo area Demographics The population of Oslo was by 2010 increasing at a record rate of nearly 2% annually, making it the fastest-growing Scandinavian capital. According to the most recent census 432,000 Oslo residents were ethnically Norwegian, an increase of 6% since 2002. Oslo has the largest population of immigrants and Norwegian-born to immigrant parents in Norway, both in relative and absolute figures. Of Oslo Euro unregistered trademark S624,000 inhabitants, 189,400 were immigrants or Norwegian-born to immigrant parents, which is 30.4% of the Capitale Euro unregistered trademark S entire population. All suburbs in Oslo were above the national average of 14.1%. The suburbs with the highest proportions of immigrants and Norwegian born to immigrant parents were Zandere Nordstrand, Stavner og Alna, with around 50%. Pakistanis make up the single largest ethnic minority, followed by Swedes, Somalis, and Poles a Euro. These are the four largest ethnic minority groups. Other large immigrant groups are people from Sri Lanka. Vietnam, Turkey, Morocco, Iraq and Iran. In 2013, 40% of Oslo's primary school pupils were registered as having a first language other than Norwegian or Sami. The western part of the city is predominantly ethnic Norwegian, with several schools having less than 5% pupils with an immigrant background. The eastern part of Oslo is more mixed, with some schools up to 97% immigrant share. Schools are also increasingly divided by ethnicity, with white flight being present in some of the northeastern suburbs of the city. In the borough Grorodalen in 2008 for instance, the ethnic Norwegian population decreased by 1,500, while the immigrant population increased by 1,600. Oslo is a city with various religious communities. In 2008 63% of the population were members of the Church of Norway lower than the national average of 82%. In 2011 almost 20% of the population were registered in other religious or life stance communities. In 2012, there were about 48,000 registered Muslims in Oslo, making up about 8% of the population, and about 33,000 registered Catholics. Life stance communities, mainly the Norwegian Humanist Association, had about 18,000 members in 2011. Notable residents Nico and Vins, singers, international relations, Oslo is a pilot city of the Council of Europe and the European Commission Intercultural Cities Program. Twin towns a Euro partner cities a Euro, and regions. Oslo has cooperation agreements with the following cities regions. Oslo was formerly twinned with Madison, 
Wisconsin, Tel Aviv and Vilnius, but has since abolished the concept of twin cities. Christmas trees as gifts Oslo has a tradition of sending a Christmas tree every year to the cities of Washington, D.C., New York City, London, Edinburgh, Rotterdam, Antwerp, and Reykjavik A. Since 1947, Oslo has sent a 65 a year or 80 foot high, 50 to 100 year old spruce, as an expression of gratitude toward Britain for its support of Norway during World War II. See also East End and West End of Oslo, Oslo Accords, Parks and Open Spaces in Oslo, Timeline of Transport in Oslo, References Further reading, published in the 19th century, David Brewster, Ed Christiania Edinburgh Encyclopedia. Edinburgh, William Black Widower, John Thompson, Christiania, New Universal Gazetteer and Geographical Dictionary, London, H. G. Bonner, Description of Christiania. Traveller's Guide in Sweden and the Most Interesting Places in Norway. Stockholm, Adolf Bonnier 1871, a, Christiania. Norway, Illustrated Handbook for Travellers. Christiania, C. H. R. Tarn S.B.E.R.G. 1875 uh, John Ramsey McCulloch, Christiania, in Hugh G. Reed, A Dictionary, Practical, Theoretical and Historical of Commerce and Commercial Navigation, London, Longmans, Green, and Coa, Christiania, Handbook for Travellers in Norway, London, J. Murray, 1880 uh, Maturin Murray Bala, Capital of Norway, Due North. Or, Glimpses of Scandinavia and Russia, Boston, Tickner and Compania, Hunger. Not Ham Sun. The ultimate book set in Oslo, this wondrous city that no one leaves before it has made its marks upon him. Published in the 20th century, Christiania. Bennett's Handbook for Travelers in Norway. Christiana, T. Bennett and Sons 1902 A. Christiania. Bradshaw's Through Routes to the Capitals of the World and Overland Guide to India, Persia, and the Far East. London, Henry Blacklock. 1903 A, Christiania, Encyclopedia Britannica, New York, Encyclopedia Britannica Colorado, 1910, OCLCA 14782424 A, Christiania, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, Leipzig, Karl Barmerdecker, 1912 A, Esther Singleton, City of Christiania, Great Cities of Europe, Garden City New York Doubleday, Pagia, The Big Fog's Unt. In Var A-M-B-J-A-R-N-S-E-N. Set in the late 1970s, telling the story of a young hash dealer. Beatles. Lars Orby Christensen. About growing up in the 1960s. Shyness and Dignity. Dag Solstad. External links, City of Oslo. Official website, City of Oslo, Official website, Official Travel and Visitor's Guide to Oslo, Oslo The Official Travel Guide to Norway, Oslo A Euro Local Travel Information Guide Oslo City, Oslo Attractions Guide, We're an Oslo Community-Based City Guide in English, Oslo Key Facts www.fishatnaway.com